So, starting with the name of Almighty Allah, today in this video we will learn about the constant head test that is used to determine the hydraulic conductivity of coarse type of soil. So, here you can see the mold of uh, this is constant head mold that is one of the apparatus to perform this test. But uh, before discussing the apparatus of this test, firstly we need to perform some calculations to uh, to prepare the remolded soil sample. That how we basically remold the soil sample. For that purpose, here you can see we have the dry density that is 1.5 gram per centimeter cube. We must have the moisture content that is uh, uh, 7 percent. Uh, that can vary. We just uh, took the values. Uh, by assuming that the moisture content is 7% then we have dia of mold that is 10 cm. The dia of this mold is basically 10 cm. So now uh, we need to find out the volume of the mold but how uh, will uh, determine the volume of this mold? We have the dia of this mold but now we require the height of the mold. That height of the mold will consider is from the top burette to the bottom burette. So this much distance uh, is required to perform the volume calculation because we'll place our soil sample uh, within this height. So this height is 20 centimeter for this apparatus. So now we'll determine the volume uh, volume of the mold that is pi r square h we have uh, the radius uh, that is 10 divided by 2 and 20 centimeter is the height and the volume comes out to be 15 70 centimeter cube now how will determine the mass of soil required to fill this volume basically so as we know that the formula to find out the mass of soil is density into volume. So we have the dry density that is 1.5 gram per centimeter cube. We'll multiply it by volume that is 50, 70 cubic centimeter and the mass of soil comes out to be 2355 gram. Now we'll take 2355 gram of soil sample. You can see here. So we have 2355 five gram of soil sample. Now we need to prepare a remolded sample. We'll have to add some moisture content. How? As you can see here, we have the moisture content that is 7%. So how we'll calculate the uh, moisture content in grams or volume? So it is basically 7% of 2355 five gram. So the 7% of 2355 gram is, uh, comes out to be 165 gram. So now here you can see we have one, one, uh, 65 ml is uh, equivalent to the 165 gram approximately. Now we'll add this much amount of water into the soil. Now we'll add this uh, water into the soil and we'll mix it to prepare the remolded soil sample. So this is the uh, soil uh, amount of soil that is required to fill the uh, particular volume we calculated. So this is how basically we prepare the remolded soil sample. So to prepare the remolded soil sample, we always required, uh, we must have the density and the moisture content values. If we have the uh, MDD or optimum moisture content value from Proctor test, then we can take 95% of MDD and 95% of OMC to uh, prepare the remolded soil sample. So these density and moisture content values can be determined from proctor tests. 
otherwise these values can be determined on site uh, by using in situ methods as well so now uh, now we need to understand that how we basically set up the assembly of this apparatus to perform the test so firstly we need to know the these burets first the this burette is related to the constant head so in this buret the uh, head of the uh, water is constant always so that is why it is constant head test now the second buret is related to the difference of the head it tells us about the head difference in the water now the third buret is related to the uh, saturation so it tells us about the saturation now and to understand the uh, assembly of uh, this apparatus that how we assemble the apparatus here you can see the diagram firstly we will place the uh, pedestal you can see here this pedestal will place in the bottom so now we will place pedestal in the bottom of this mold so after placing the pedestal in the mold now we'll place sieve number 10 over the pedestal you can see here so now we'll place this sieve number 10 this is basically sieve number 10 the opening of this uh, mesh is basically sieve number 10 so we'll place the sieve number 10 over the pedestal now in the next we'll place some gravels you can see here gra gravel layer over this so it will be up to the and the uh, this buret size to the saturation buret so the thickness of this uh, gravel layer is up to this saturation buret so now we'll have to visually inspect the level of the gravel now you can see the gravels have been placed in this mold up to the up to the saturation buret now as i told next we'll we'll place sieve number 30 over this gravel and then filter over this sieve number 30 so this is sieve number 30 and filter paper over sieve number 30 now here you can see uh, this much height is filled up uh, with the uh, assembly apparatus now we'll place the uh, remolded soil sample we'll place soil sample over here and we'll uh, tamp it with the wooden uh, rammer so now we'll place the soil sample remember we we have 20 cm height and corresponding to 20 cm height uh, we have the volume we calculated earlier so we need to fill that volume with this uh, much amount of the soil So now we have placed all the soil uh, and uh, in the mold and you can see the level it is up to this up to this buret and uh, as I earlier told that we have to restrict our soil sample within this height so this height is 20 centimeter and corresponding to this height we determine the volume and that volume was used to determine the uh, the uh, mass of soil required to fill that volume for remolded soil sample calculation procedure so now we'll place filter paper here you can see in this diagram as well we'll place filter paper over here and now we'll place sieve number 16 sieve number 16 over there now we'll place some amount of gravel over there now our apparatus is ready 
to perform the test. So now in the next step, we have to add the water in the soil sample. So we can use any uh, way to add water in the soil sample. So uh, we have placed the uh, mold over the sink to get the continuous water supply. And now here you can see when all the burettes are filled with the water, you can see the level of the water and water starts overflowing from this, uh, from here. It means our soil sample is now saturated. So now uh, we'll, uh, we'll perform the test. So to perform the test, we'll take the observations or readings. Uh, so uh, firstly, we have the discharge 100 ml uh, that is constant. We can uh, we can fix the time as well, but in our case, we have uh, we have taken discharge as the constant value that is 100 ml, and we have uh, head H1 that is 270 mm. That will be constant. That is why it is called constant head. So what we do, what we'll do is we'll have, uh, we'll check the time, and then uh, time to fill the discharge of 100 ml and then we'll note it down the H2 value and the corresponding temperature to perform the calculations. Now we'll perform the test. Here we have the stopwatch and here from here we'll, uh, we'll collect the discharge from the mold and here you can see the H1 value that is 270 mm. The uh, head of the water in this burette will be constant and that is 270 mm here you can see. So now Start. Start. Okay. Now we'll note it uh, down the time required to uh, have the discharge of 100 ml. So that uh, will be used to perform the calculations to determine the uh, hydraulic conductivity of this soil. So we actually require the time for uh, time required to have the 100 ml discharge from this soil sample. Ready, sir? Stop. So uh, it means the 56 seconds, uh, it took 56 seconds to fill the discharge of 100 ml, 100 ml here you can see the 100 ml and, and how much the head difference is no, you can see again. No, uh, so the our second burette the value you can see the drop of head is basically 250 from this from here. From it's here. now raising up again. Now we'll check the temperature because temperature uh, affects the hydraulic conductivity and the temperature is when it will still be. It's almost 14. So the temperature is almost 13. 14. Almost 14 degrees. So now we'll perform the calculations that how we perform the calculations from the observations. We have the time 56 seconds. We have H2 value uh, head difference that is 250. The H1 that was constant. Uh, the value is 270 mm and we have the temperature that is 14 degrees Celsius. Now uh, let's see how we basically perform the calculations. Here you can see uh, the trial. We have performed the one trial. Now we have H2 value that is in centimeters uh, 270 uh, mm is the uh, h1 value if we convert this value in centimeters it comes out to be 27 then we have h2 values that was 250 mm and in centimeters this value will be 25 now we need to find out the head difference so head difference is basically 20 mm or we can say 2 centimeter and the time uh, was the 56 seconds and now we'll uh, have to uh, calculate the discharge value so how we can find out the discharge value we have the volume that is uh, 100 ml uh, the fixed value of the 100 ml value 
and we have the 56 seconds so we need to find out the discharge value that is volume per unit time and the discharge comes out to be 1.7857 cubic centimeter per second now we need to find out the k value at temperature that was the 14 degree celsius so how we find out the k value the formula of k is ql divided by a th l is the length of the soil sample that was 20 centimeter basically and q we have calculated now we have area that can be calculated from pi r square we have the time 60 second and we have the h value that is head difference that was 2 centimeter so by putting the values in this formula and we can find out the k value that is 0 0.00406 centimeter per second but we need to find out the value at 20 degrees celsius so to convert the value of hydraulic uh, conductivity or k value into 20 degrees celsius we need to apply correction what we do uh, we multiply this k value with the correction that n gamma over n 20 that value can be extracted from the table that is given in the astm standard you can use that table and the value comes out to be 0 0.0046 multiply by 1.165 that is basically the correction value and we the value comes out to be 0 0.00473 centimeter per second so this is the uh, value of hydraulic conductivity for constant head test